grams of protein, this might be a little bit more because I was hungry, uh, serving of fat and then about 30 grams of carbs. So I was eating portion sizes like way bigger than his and he just kind of looked at me like, you're going to eat all that and then my plate would be clean. So trying to fix that issue. And now she gets peanut butter shakes at night which put a smile on her face. Everybody at my gym I talk to, we like to work out because we like to eat. <laughs> I mean I like to work out too but I like to eat as well. Chocolate. And caramel um, ice cream, chocolate cookie squirrels. Squirrels. I just pulled a Jenny. Squirrels in my ice cream. <laughs> I'm not very good at my words. <laughs> I make up words and stuff, so the Bible actually has a lot of big words. <laughs> so I have a children's book, <laughs> volume 1 to 12, that I read about Bible stories. Real stories with pictures and words that I can understand. It's really hard to talk in the morning, so it's just easier to talk like Marcel and Shell. You're pretty short, and it takes you a while to walk. Yeah, it's okay though, because I just ride the waves. Regularly has told me, she's like, you know I could kill you and get away with it. And women are psycho though, for real. Only because she's so fired up about a book. Everyone is at least 5% psycho. Knows exactly what she needs to do to frame my disappearance. We saw Dave posted a vest yesterday. I don't think I've put mine on since the games, maybe once or twice. I should go through all the hero workouts and see which ones I can wear vests with, but then I thought that one looked fun, because one, I like burpees, and two, I like running. So everyone keeps saying, are you ready? I'm like, well, I don't know, I hope so. Hopefully I did the right stuff this year, but you never know. I'm from here originally, mm -hmm. uh, so we just moved back, but it's a lot nicer. I like it better than Kentucky. And my parents called me and said they were buying a gym after my mom went did CrossFit for like, I don't know, a year and a half, two years. She called me and was like, I want to buy a CrossFit gym. You wanna buy a what? Like, what? what's wrong with you? They thought that I could teach spinning there, and you know, I was a body pump. She's a CFO, but we call her the chief fun officer. We went with assault bikes, and assault bikes are so much harder. <laughs> we look so different. My wife is a very hardworking, intelligent, smart, beautiful, strong. I'm really smart. This is the earth. We're driving one day, and you might have to help me out a little bit with this honesty, please. I get in Colorado, there's there's altitude, right? There's there's mountains. Got it. But in Mexico, it's down, it's down here, down south, right? She thought the further you drove away from the equator, the greater the altitude got. <laughs> mountains go up this way, right? On the equator, so like the more you go up. I had to explain it to her. I had to get a circle out. And I'm like, Jenny, how in the world do you think people are attached to the world at the bottom of it? I just didn't think about it, you know? Like, when do you really like think about the world? I'm really book smart. I just study a lot. She could kill me, because she's read so many books. <laughs> See you over there? Meet you over there. Okay. Get this dust off this thing. Watch, it was a joke and we all won't actually use weight this. No. Cool. Dave's leaked some stuff. Um, who knows how true it is. I've just been focusing on trying to move a heavy bar in workouts efficiently um, and then just fine tune the other skills. I'm a really big nap taker. Food and sleep? <laughs> oh my gosh. So is there a class right now or are nope. you just doing your own thing? I have a key. You have a key? Yeah, okay. yeah. So I, uh, I tried to get in before because we don't have like an open gym space and we have a lot of people that want to do their own stuff but then we have a lot of people obviously that pay for class so we try to keep that separate so if i i like to think about setting examples so if i'm in there doing my own thing during class then it's kind of like well you just told me i can't do my own thing during class so i just try to keep it all even so ideally i would come in at like nine o'clock do it just during class but that just wouldn't work two or three other people might be coming Beer fridge, if you guys want a beer. I would do probably more like classic rock. Uh -huh. um, 
and country gotcha. when I'm in here by myself. Yeah, everybody likes Drake. Gotcha. I'm not a Drake fan. <laughs> People will hate me for saying that, but I'm not a Drake fan. <laughs> So my perception of myself has changed, definitely believing in myself a little bit more and not selling myself as short and just realizing like, hey, you did do that. You went through the entire season. You did well in the open. You did well in the region. You did well at the games. Like your work is paying off. Huh. Uh, so what do you guys want to do now? Cool off. Yeah, no, we're all steaming. Do you want to do the rowing one? Not thrusters though, because we just did a lot of wobbles. Most people kind of break up their session. She'll cram everything in a really short time period, so pretty much quick turnover. Battle to the metal and go. Just get everything I have done. Patrick's awesome. He's always there creating life balance. She competes at a much higher level than I do, so I can also kind of bring her back down to just having fun with it as well. Normally I let her wear herself out a little bit first and then I try to jump in and keep up. He's helped me realize there's more to life than just CrossFit. I'm allowed to drive because I passed my, my vision test last time, which there's a there's a little story to you, but and, and I passed it. He really is legally blind. Shouldn't be driving, shouldn't be doing anything. Did you say your vision's gotten worse? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Sometimes we'll go up to different girls at the bar and think it's me and it's not me. Could be an excuse, I don't know. But you know, when I was telling the doctor, like, he's like, you know, obviously you're not driving, so the goal is to get you driving. That's where we want to get your eyes on. I'm like, no, I drive. He's like, what? Like, no, like, there's no possible way you could figure out a way to drive. They're that bad. But, I figured it out. Every day, I go to the YMCA, hop on the tree form, do a little walk, run, warm up. And then I hit every isolated muscle group of my body. But it allows me to accumulate an absurd amount of volume and I've still trained my entire body. It's ready. Bicep, tricep, pec, lat, oblique, glutes, hips, quadricep, hamstring, calf. Like, I've prepped it. I can get this done in 20 minutes usually. It's a great warm up. My mobility session. I got pop. That gives me some confidence going into something that maybe I haven't done because I know I'm prepared, that area is ready for it, and the amount of volume that I've accumulated. Sam confessed his love, like a couple days after we met, like four or five days, and um, he calls me at 11 p.m. He's like, hey, we have a problem. I'm like, what's that? He's like, I think I'm in love with you. And I was like, Pfft. I kind of laughed. I'm like, you just like the idea of me. And he was like, screw you. When I got to my gym that I'm currently at, I felt like a lot of the men especially were like, who is this little girl? <laughs> what, what does she know? I'm not listening to her. Um, and then over time, especially after the Open this year, uh, and I think seeing me train on an everyday basis and then starting to see some of my PRs when I was out squatting or out lifting them, they are like, oh, okay, maybe I should listen to her. Maybe she does know what she's talking about. So slow, slowly over time, uh, they've started to listen to me a little bit more, or that's at least what it feels like. My job at CrossFit Players is awesome. The members are awesome, the community is awesome. It's been a joy to get to be part of that gym. 36th place in the world, finish in his teenage division. So maybe next year we'll be in that top 20, get you to the games. And then my mom, she just walked in, she was 10th, so congratulate her, she will be going to the games. So it's usually my mom and myself, we have a super awesome staff, 
uh, that really helps us out, a bunch of volunteer coaches, um, and I would not be able to do it without them. I think my mom said she made lasagna tonight, so I'm looking forward to going to eating lasagna. I love owning the gym, because I like people. I just love seeing changes in people. Donna, this is the best, and we just have a great, we have a great gym. I initially got into this because I wanted to train athletes, like professional athletes. You quickly realize that that's a very small group of people and started noticing that the majority of people are broken and I needed to be able to diagnose them and prescribe them with what was going to lead them toward a healthier, more, more functional lifestyle. Get you up there, good, nice work. I like how we're all working together today to figure things out. It's his passion, it's his dream. Without Sam, like, none of this would have happened. Hey guys. Hey, what's up, man? Good. You mind? Yeah. Oh, I think I coached, um, Sam coached me today and did my deadlift. Again, yeah, I'm the best coach ever. Who's the best coach? Jen. And you know, Sam, uh, not lying, Sam. <laughs> 10 squat tosses over the rig? Yep. Farmer's carry? Huh. Yep. And front loaded carry? No carries. All right. <clears throat> so James is, he's my best friend. We learn from one another, throw the football around, we work out together. I coach him, he says, he coaches me. I walk around a rig. He's a cup fan. Oh, okay. Yeah, cup? Yeah. Cardinals. Oh, my bad. Cardinals. <laughs> yeah, be you, Jen. James has changed Sam's heart and outlook on life. I need to be more like James. I need to love everybody. I need to love even the people who suck. Sam's always wanting to show love to other people, but I think James actually showed Sam how to love. People need to be more like him. He thinks he can win. He thinks he can PR everything, every day. I got a, good, I got a new, new PR today. His go-to is love. I plan on working towards helping everybody experience that until I die. I went to the games honestly hoping to make it through uh, or not end maybe at the bottom. I really didn't have any expectations. I just wanted to go have fun. I like the aspect of not really knowing what's happening or knowing ahead of time the workouts. So it was super fun to hear something announced, be like, okay, how am I gonna do on this? Let's just see. Last year, the best moment I would say is the squat clean ladder. I think I took a top 10 finish in that event and that was really, really unthinkable um, just because strength has been such a huge hole. But it was just super cool to be in that atmosphere in the final heat with Sarah and Kara and Katrin and all of those girls that I've looked up to and then I got to compete out there with them. Silent assassin. It was the coolest thing I've ex experienced, like walking out with Kara and Sarah and everyone screaming and I was just like, okay, here we go. I guess we're gonna lift some weights. Yeah. I had all these goals. I want to get top 10. And I was, I was prepared. I did everything I needed to do to be top 10, but I did a little too much. Sam Dancer, look at that huge frame down the steps. <laughs> oh, I got a little, um, little stress fracture in my fibula that it's just really annoying. Are you gonna be able to complete the games? Yeah. I've been injured my whole life, man. And ended up having a fracture in my fibula. So everything had to shift around. Goals had to change. The, the goal is no longer to be top 10. The goal is to finish, to complete it. But this is where that conditioning comes in. When you're experiencing what is pain, what is a bad circumstance, you're able to lean up against what it is that you have prepared and conditioned yourself to do, which is to compete. The games, in my opinion, was a podium finish for me. There's never been a more perfectly executed attempt or run at anything that I've ever done in my life. But because of the, the people around me, the focus I had, even when you're just like, mm, it was bad, man, it hurt. Like that box jump? Phew.
Like it makes me want to puke thinking about it. I was back there in the warm up area. I couldn't jump up to two 45 pound plates. And every event was like that. I couldn't do any of it in the warm up area. I had to spend so much of my time. Like this was the warm up. If you've ever done like a four minute max calorie bike, say 500 watts is, is exactly what your average is that you can hold through that four minutes. If you do 501, you went over your threshold, you fall off. You no longer can sustain 500 watts, now you're at 350. I held 500 watts the entire way through. It was a perfectly executed weekend for me. And people don't get this, they wouldn't think that. Yeah, yeah, they're saying, but that's not very good. <laughs> like it was really good. That Sunday morning I was not feeling good. It's not, I wasn't sore, it's just those were some weaker events for me and typically farmers carries are really poor and just watching everybody fly through it and I couldn't even get the thing to move. Um, I was like, okay, don't break down, you're fine. You know, you're just here for the experience, it's okay. So I've been working a lot on the odd object stuff uh, because it's, not that I necessarily was failing, but in a sense from the expectations I hold myself to, to not be able to even get close to finishing or get the thing to move, I felt like I failed. Westside Barbell is this really crazy gym. There's weights and kettlebells everywhere. It's not organized. Known as the world's strongest gym, they specialize in strength and brute strength and kind of the grunt work, which is what I'm not good at. Which is your weaker arm? If you had, if you had to punch a bitch, I'd use my right. You'd use your right. So you, yes. Yeah, we're gonna start with your left. Locking it out. Go. They have me warm up with sleds. They have me cool down with sleds. There we go. When I drive down there, I have no idea what I'm doing. You gotta live your life. So I go down and I walk in and I'm anxious and I'm nervous. Release grip. Yep. I do a double, touch the far wall, walk right back. That's what we've been doing. So I'm doing weird wide stance squats, some speed pulls off the ground because typically I am like slow. And then this terrible belt squat machine, which is miserable, but it's so awesome at the same time. So they like hook a belt to you and it pulls you down and he always makes me do some sort of exercise and your body is literally under tension the entire time. And he'll just put me in and be like, okay, march for two minutes. And he'll just tell me, keep marching, do good mornings, pick up this D-ball, throw it to the ground. <sighs> got two minutes to stand there. 15 seconds. Oh my God. Stop the hand, we'll start doing that right now. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, I saw that. Again! Come on! No pain! Come on! No pain! Let's go! There you go. Yeah. Got a two-minute transition. Game goes for all. It's been a struggle for me. Each week I think has gotten better. Telling myself you can keep going. One more, 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 more. Pause. This time, track. Just continue on. You can finish what he wants you to do. So it, it's been interesting, to say the least. Deep fucking burn. Getting, getting, I'm getting some of those. Trying. There you go. Bicep of the leg. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's get going. I'll hop on the one wheel. We hold hands and I pull her along, drag her along. You just feel like you're like a little kids on a date again or something like that. Cruising. You're holding each other and you're close, you're facing one another, but we'll head up to the smash station, grab some sour octopuses. Obviously he's a guy that wants to have balance. He wants to make sure that me and him are happy. Our business is going well. We wake up together. We drive to work together. We work together. We're working out around each other. We're, we're coaching next to each other. Our relationship, is challenging in a very, very positive way because that, that challenge or that push is, is allowing us to grow 
together and, and get to know each other more. Sam's taught me how to be super hippie, super simple, not stress out. It's cool having these talks, dude. You, you end up having like more discovery. This, this is what I want with me and my wife. To think that we could continue progressively getting more intimate, getting more personal, knowing one another, achieving more things together is just like... He cries more than I do in our relationship, for sure. I don't know if he wants me to admit that on camera, but it's so true. God, I got a lot of work. I got a lot of things to work on. Like, I gotta get to work on this now. I love fitness. I've always loved fitness. I just love the feeling of either coming back from a long run or a long workout session. Like I've worked hard and I've achieved something. And so it's just kind of for me, it's self-fulfilling. In the competitive CrossFit world, I'd love to be a multi-year games athlete. So to be considered not a rookie and to be considered a veteran. And I think the other thing is just being able to take CrossFit into the rest of my life. So I think that would be my goal four years down the road. How can I use CrossFit in everything else that I'm doing? We're out hiking and we can go on an eight to 10 mile hike that's pretty treacherous or pretty advanced and we haven't trained for it, we're just able to go out and do it or going and climbing rocks or you know the kayaking. Just being able to get outside and use the strength that I've created inside of the gym, outside of the gym to do cool things. This is one of our children. We have all fake children because we don't have real children. This is the language that Sam speaks to me sometimes. He'll literally mimic it. We can break it down and he'll do it for you. Sam, you want to tell him pretend like you're Rufus? No, I told him that that's what you do, so they're kind of waiting for you to mimic it. Embarrassed. You're embarrassed? <laughs> He's our kid. I can win the Central Region and still honor my duties as a Christian. Be the husband I know I'm capable of being. Be a business owner that I'm capable of being and a coach. And then, down here, the training stuff, all right? This is how I train. <laughs> oh, get away. <laughs> I want to desperately show people that you don't have to get rid of everything. This would not, this would not go at all. So I did okay, but then I have to eat that just because it's uh, Saturday. I don't eat a lot of cheese. Dude, people are sacrificing way too much for something like so small and it's not even it's not even valuable it like gives a shit my dad said you guys are disgusting my mom's like oh i love it you podium but you left a trail of hurt you can be a student you can be a good friend you can still serve your community there's enough time oh i'm in the kitchen here with this taco i got a sam dances Making all these great foods and meals. We're over here, we're chopping it up. I'm chopping it up with Sam Dance in the kitchen right now. Oh. Maybe that's why I want to win. Maybe that's it. I want to win so I can prove to everybody that I can still take my wife out on a date. I can still maybe cut it off a little short and go make her dinner. I didn't know Sam. I'm gonna answer. drink. I'm gonna drink it fast. I can have a beer with my my friend Mars. If I just if I had one more beer than all the guys that made podium, it was all worth it. It was worth it to yeah. share it with you. Fuck. You don't have to sacrifice the good things to do a good thing. It's hard to put a number on things. Um, the workouts are different, the girls competing are different. Of course, I'd like to do better than last year, but it's not really about the people around you, so I'm just trying to focus on myself. If I want to win the CrossFit Games, I'll win the CrossFit Games. If I want to win regionals, I'll win regionals. But I can't let myself get distracted. Be very present, focus. 100% of your attention in the direction of where you want to go, where you want to be, what you want to achieve, and what will happen. If you do it, if you legitimately have that focus and attention that you need to have in the direction of whatever it is that you want to do and you want to achieve, you can condition yourself to be that. Oh! 
she was an accountant, so she sees it on her paper and she goes, check, 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 check. She doesn't necessarily stress about CrossFit so much, but she stresses about getting everything done. You're always chasing something. There we go. So as soon as I PR, just like everybody else in the world, it's like, I want to do more. I wake up every day just wanting to be the best that I can be and also just seeing how far can I actually take it. Yeah.